Good morning, Jerusalem. Is it well with your soul? As we wake up to another Christmas morning, it is my prayer that it will be one of enjoyment with your family, peace among friends, goodwill toward mankind, and most of all, thanksgiving towards the one who we celebrate, and that is Jesus Christ, our Lord. I appreciate you taking out the time to tune in this morning. So I'm going to be as brief as possible in order that you might be able to get back to enjoy your families. So join me in a word of prayer and we'll begin. Father, thank you for this Christmas day. And as we celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus Christ, we praise you for the gift of love you gave to us in him. God, we pray that as we celebrate with family and friends, we pray that you'll keep us safe and that our minds and hearts will be stayed on thee. Let us rejoice in knowing that the fact that the Savior has come and today we adore him for who he is. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. And we believe that you will be with us now in this word. Keep us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. This morning, I want to talk to you about the S's of Christmas. The S's of Christmas. You know, this morning, many children and adults got up with anticipation and excitement to hurry and see what gifts and gadgets were inside those beautifully wrapped packages underneath the Christmas tree. All month long, they've been waiting, and now the day has finally arrived. Now, for some, it's, let me see what Santa brought me. Others will say, let me see what my spouse got me. And still others will say, I wonder what my siblings got me this time. Well, if you notice, each person's name began with the letter S, Santa, spouse, and sibling. But I want to call your attention to another trilogy of names that also begins with S, and ones that really matter the most, particularly on this day. And the first name that begins with S is son. Not just any son, but the son of God. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21 says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. This son will be the son that will bring salvation to the world, a world ravaged by sin, a world in need of hope in the midst of despair, peace in the midst of confusion, and love in the midst of hate. Yes, for God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. The greatest gift of all came as a son. But then the second S in the name this morning is substitute. Now, in order for the son to remedy the sin situation that we incurred, he had to become a substitute. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 10 says, Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation or substitute for our sins. That word propitiation means the act of gaining or regaining the favor or goodwill of someone or something. It's an appeasement, a sacrifice in propitiation of the gods. You see, since we could not please God because of our sin, God did it himself through his son. Jesus Christ became a substitute for us. He took our place on the cross to satisfy the justice of God and pay the debt we owed by his debt. And because of what he did, we now have fellowship 
with the Father. So the Son became our substitute that he might become, and here's the last S, our Savior. Luke chapter 2, verse 11 says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And so we can rejoice knowing that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the Savior of the world. And guess what? He saves from the guttermost to the uttermost. Again, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 says, For thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. The songwriter wrote, We have heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Spread the tidings all around. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Bear the news to every land, climb the steeps and cross the ways. Onward tis our Lord's command. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. So today, whatever you got from Santa, or whatever you got from your spouse or even from your sibling, trust me, it can never compare to the gift from the Son of God, our substitute and our Savior. And just for good measure, let me give you a closing admonition that also begins with S. And that admonition is, be like the shepherds. That's right, the shepherds. See, the shepherds, they were told by the angel to go see the babe in the manger. And after they did, they said, let us go tell everyone about this wonderful thing we have seen. So, Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ was born. But then tell them why he was born. And that was he was born to die. And on a hill called Calvary, over 2,000 years ago, Jesus, the matchless Lamb of God, Mary's baby, God's son, suffered, bled, and died to give us the gift of eternal life. He was buried in a borrowed tomb for three days and nights. But the third day he arose with all power and authority in his hand. And now he reigns as king forevermore. So this Christmas, go share Jesus. Let's pray. God, how we thank you for the gift of eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. How we thank you for this Christmas day that we're able to celebrate and remember the gift you gave to us in him. But most of all, God, we thank you that he came in this world as a baby, grew up a man and died for our sins. And because of that, we have eternal life. So, Father, throughout this day, be with us as we celebrate and as we just glorify you in all that we do. And we'll give you the glory, praise, and honor that belongs to you alone. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. I pray, my brothers and sisters, that each of you will have a safe and Merry Christmas. And remember, New Year's Day service will also be virtual and will premiere at 9.30 a.m. Don't forget, as you go, forgive somebody because someone needs forgiveness now. And as the opportunity presents itself, share the love of Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas and have a happy New Year. On the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, two turtle doves, a partridge in a pear tree. Pie.
partridge in a pear tree. And a partridge <laughs> in a pear tree. <laughs> Christmas, my true love sent to me. Partridge in a pear tree. Seven swans are swimming. <laughs> Six geese is laying. Five golden ring. Four calling birds. And a partridge in a pear tree. Five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And seven swans are swimming. Six geese is laying. Five <laughs> golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. Ten lords are leaping. Seven swans are swimming. Six geese is laying. Five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. Eleven pipers piping. Ten lords are leaping. Eight maids are milking. <laughs> Seven swans are swimming. Six geese is laying. Five golden rings. <laughs> Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. Twelve drummers drumming. Eleven pipers piping. Ten lords are leaping. Nine lady dancing. Eight mills are milking. Seven swans are swimming. Six geese are laying. Five golden rings. <laughs> Four, Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. <coughs> And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Our departure course and we're ready to go. As you go, forgive somebody. Someone needs forgiveness now. As the opportunity presents itself, Share the love of Jesus Christ. Oh, share the love of Jesus Christ. 